In September, South Africans welcome the world as we host the 17th CITES Conference of Parties, the world's biggest wildlife trade conference. As one of the first countries to join CITES, South Africa has always taken an active role in wildlife protection, with the Department of Environmental Affairs spearheading this work in partnership with agencies and stakeholders across the country. South Africa is one of the most mega-diverse countries in the world, and we are committed to empowering communities through conservation and sustainable use of our natural resources. This year, as South Africa welcomes the world on the global environmental stage, we take this opportunity to share the stories of South African communities and the many ways conservation is helping to improve livelihoods across our land. The Private Game Reserve was established by a group of businessmen who were passionate conservationists who saw the benefit in uh, consolidating cattle farms and uh, introducing wildlife and creating a, a wonderful wildlife reserve um, and bringing the land back to its original glory. Approximately six years ago, um, the land was claimed by the local, local community in terms of a land claim. Um, the claim was successfully negotiated between the owners of the land at the time and the community, which resulted in a win-win situation for the community and the land owners, and also an ongoing partnership in terms of which the community benefits on an ongoing basis from the land, and the uh, people that were previously involved provide guidance and assistance with regards how to manage the land, and how to make sure it is a success as a game reserve. Yeah, singing is a feel good to guess your own and over. Again, a little and you go 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 screwy as long as Kisha and a pandle, gonk as he went again in Nabo, especially is close into a singer, a missing ayaz, as as one would such as one and one and one got a little guabo. One person who has benefited is Njabulo Hudla, the Assistant General Manager. I never knew that I would be involved in this industry. From my childhood, we were not exposed in this kind of industry. I started like it was more of a peace job, but it ended up being my, my full-time job, a career that I want to pursue. They are willing to teach me things that I don't know, and then maybe at some point I will end up be running the, the reserve. I am in charge of two departments, the felt and as well as the fence maintenance. And then, as you saw, um, those rhino monitors just now. Um, every Friday we meet up and then they brief me um, with the, the, the route that they're going to be taking and then they also inform me if they begging to find some of the animals. private. <laughs> Yes, when these farms were cattle farms, there were approximately 15 people employed on the reserve. 
and now employing 250 people, that's a clear example of the benefit that can be created. Well, the, the game reserve is a, is a success. Um, it uh, attracts a number of visitors who appreciate the incredible diversity that we have on Nambiti in terms of habitat and in terms of animals and in terms of all the different lodges as well. On the land are the graves of some of the families who lived here. Burial ground is sacred and the partnership means the community now own their ancestral land and have access to the graves which they can visit and maintain. So for me, land, one, provides shelter, and two, you get food out of the land. Like anybody, you know, once they acquire land, they, they, they feel more important other than being anybody with no property. Being exposed in this industry has made me to see things like, oh, okay, well, we need to conserve this in order for the next generation to, to see it and not be blamed and say, hey, but the previous generations did one, two, and three, but now I'm given an opportunity to avoid such. You know? So, yeah, it's been great. I think the MBT can be used as a wonderful example as to how to uplift local communities, to show how conservation and ecotourism can uplift rural areas. And for me, this is about uplifting South Africa. Let's take this model and replicate in other parts of the country, show how jobs can be created, can show how our habitat can be conserved, show how conservation can work, both for the animals and the people.